welcome to the Nancy Isima Show. Yeah. Love, I want to know. Thank you, love. How do I look today? Yeah. I can't hear you. Yeah. You say? Yeah. I absolutely love you guys. Welcome to the Nancy Isima Show. Yet another fun episode. You know how we do all about fun, 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 and on this show, we just want to make sure that you have a bright, wonderful, beautiful day with our lineups. Of course, there's the celebrity interviews, and there's our What Up Nancy segment where we get to do what? A pro -co. Now, so without any further ado, please let's go on this show break, and when we get back, the show begins. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, I know. Welcome back to the Nancy Isima Show. I hope you guys are feeling good. Have you gotten your popcorn and your drinks? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Where? I'm yeah. talking to, I'm talking to the people at home, not you guys. <laughs> you have enough popcorn. I'm your popcorn and drink. <laughs> uh, it's okay. So it's best. Well, it's about that time for our what up. Nancy segment! I love the What's Up Nancy segment because, you know, it just makes me feel like a, you know, a advisor. Advisor, no way, according to my Edo people. If you know what I mean. Let's get right into it. Marianne from Songotedo. That place sounds familiar. <laughs> Okay, Marion says, what's up, Nancy? I just wrote Jam, and the course on my career path is a male-dominated field. So my question is, can a woman really do what a man can do and do it better? Please advise. Why are the men waiting for what's going to come out of my mouth? Before I talk, and uh, before we talk, let us, you know what I mean. Let's go into the streets. <laughs> it depends on the perspective. Uh, the saying that goes as a, when you train a woman, you train a nation goes a long way in defining what a woman is or who a woman is. Women are so resilient. When men cannot go far, women can go far, depending on the area, the field. Today we have women doctors, we have women engineers. Uh, the only area where women are lacking in our society today is in the political forum. But the moment women come in and participate fully, I believe we should, we should start feeling a new paradigm where things will be okay. Even though we've had experience in the immediate past where women were given position and they mishandled it. But uh, that does not mean all women will be so daft. That does not mean all women are not responsible. West. Women are responsible. Given the opportunity to serve, they serve better. Even in the office, whatever you ask them to do, they deliver. And I think, given the opportunity, they will, they will, they will be able to perform. That is my take. When it comes to integrity and the organization, there are certain things that, uh, like in government, we are looking forward to seeing women in government. Because, uh, uh, what we are seeing now that men are doing in government, when may, more women are there, will, uh, there will be a difference. Not minding the fact that uh, there are some women who were given opportunity to, to come to government and uh, they didn't do well in terms of uh, uh, 
money, management, and so on. But uh, there are just few. If we can have more women, if we have women president, we won't have what we are having now there at the moment. So there are certain things that women can do better if they are given the opportunity. That's my, my view. Can a woman do what a man can do better? My oh my. My, 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 my. Do I say, yes? I mean, anybody can do whatever. I don't like the whole, um, you know, what, what a man can do. What a, first of all, a human being can do whatever they want to do. First thing first. Yes, because we're women, we're a little fragile. I'm fragile. I probably can't lift blocks as much as, but there are women who can lift blocks that men can lift. Yes. If man, they mix cement with dead deer. Yes. Do you understand? If man, they carry with barrel with dead deer. Yes. If they hawk, we they hawk our own. Yes. So nothing, they happen. Yes. yes, I do believe a woman can do, but my own mindset about this is, as human beings, we can do whatever we want to do and whatever we set our minds to. Yeah. Now that advisor know what they don't talk. Assistant advisor know what they say. I would like to know, do you think a woman can do what a man can do better? Yeah. Yeah. So what's going to, you know that you know how we do now. Let's take a let's take a poll, eh? So if you think that a woman can do what a man can do better. Let me hear you say, yeah! Yeah! <laughs> Did you ask, you see what's going on? Can you see that it's only the women that shouted? <laughs> whoa, whoa. If they think that a woman cannot do what a man can do, let me hear you say, no! No! <laughs> Opinion now, wait, see. Opinion. So if you guys think that a woman can do, a woman cannot do, I guess we as women just need to show them what we can do, right? Yeah. Eh? Don't bring it up. Talk is cheap. Yeah. Let's just tell them what we can do. Yeah. Tell us, ladies and gentlemen, if you think that a woman cannot do what a man can do better, hit us up. I want to know on our social media handles. Let us start this conversation and argue it once and for all. Are you feeling me? Yes. <laughs> well, our guest today is an entrepreneur. She is one of the biggest hair bosses around. She knows her coins when it comes to business. I'm actually very, very, very anxious to speak to her because I want to know everything about business, right? Yes. And how to just be a fashion, no, rather a business mogul. And so young at that. Our next guest is none other but Miss Waneka. When we come back from this break, she'll be sitting with us and talking to us. We'll be right back. It's gonna be a good time. Before I went on a break, I told you who was waiting to talk to us. And now she's ready to talk to us. Please make welcome the one, the only, the hair boss herself, uh -huh. Miss Waneka. The texture was heavenly. Ah, ah, hair boss, hair boss. Please have a seat. You know, it's been a thing for me on the show to just stick to my roots and just, you know, portray the African nature and our culture and our waxes, our clothes. 
And to think that you came, I mean, you were in the spirit, oh. You came prepared. I swear, you look beautiful. Maybe I knew you were going to wear Ankara today, and I'm like, no. It's like, it's like, my wardrobe. You look amazing, doesn't she look? Thank you. Are you... Of Thank course. you. In your head, so soft. Like I felt it is so. Oof. How you. does it feel to be the hair boss? Hmm. I don't know. Whenever I'm asked this question, it's like so feelings. I'm having like, should I say good? Should I say bad? Mm. Okay, good. Yeah. Let me not say the bad parts first. So very good. Why? Why bad? Why? Be because there's about? so much attached to being the hair boss. It's not just one person walks into your store, pick a hair, pay you, and go. Like, he's so much more involved in even running a business in Nigeria, especially exactly. a business that has to do with women. Is you need to be patient. You need to be ready for it. You need to, in fact, if, if we have 365 days in a year, just know that at least 250 days you're going to be off. Wow. Wow. It's not easy, but... How long have you had your brand for? Overall, it's amazing. Amazing. A round of applause for that. Right. I love amazing stuff. How long have you had your brand for? Mm, six years. Wow. Six years. Mm. And like, I... It's, it's amazing how you're able to balance motherhood. Because, you know, she's a mother to three beautiful kids. Two boys and <laughs> You do it so effortlessly. Today you're traveling. I mean, look at them. Just look at how cute they are. Aww. Can you see that? I just feel like holding his chips. How are you able to do this, Wanika? Uh, I think from the outside, it looks much more easier mm. when you put out what. And a gorgeous husband, of course. <laughs> right? <laughs> Yes, okay. Now I've seen my husband, so I'll say he makes it all easy for me because wow. he's always there. Mm. For example, I don't get to take the kids to school. I don't get to pick them up. So my husband is always there. Mm. Whatever he's doing, he has to run and, you know, it's 2 p.m. I have to go to school and pick up the kids. I have to help out, drop them at the lesson and then pick them up again by 6. Mm. I wouldn't be able to do all of that. And then I have my amazing mother, so she's with me and I do little law. I won't say nothing, but I do little because amazing. amazing. They help I out. love it. Like you are one person who's never been afraid to talk about your struggle. You've always said how you went from having a small store um, in Festac, making almost no sales in a year. It's almost like a Coca-Cola story. How you know the first year they sold only twenty-five bottles, and now they they don't even need adverts for you to buy Coke. You know, there's some drinks you just see any any drink that is black. If it's not Pepsi, it's Coke. You get, and that's probably you right now. You, I see you every day. You're churning out, and one time you said you make even up to twenty million a month. Huh. <laughs> How? What is that trick? Tell us that one secret, at least two or three secrets for those of us who want to go into business. What okay. is that secret? First of all, and this is even ten years ago on your ten years <laughs> challenge. This is Wanika 10 years ago, and this is you now. <laughs> Somebody say Jesus. <laughs> so many people. So Look many. at that glow up. Damn. Woo. But I'm still glowing now. No, you were glowing, but... Uh, I, mean, I just don't understand that hair. And then. <laughs> <laughs> but you, tell us about it. Tell us. Okay, so when I started my business, yeah, mm -hmm. I started my business shortly after I got married. and I was bored. I just needed something to do because my husband would go to work. And I have to stay all alone. I didn't have friends. I didn't have a help at home. So I was all alone mm. when he goes to work. I saw this picture on Facebook. Like a joke. I started. So I didn't start with money. Right. Nobody gave me money. Said, take this money, invest in hair. You know, make something out. And let's see how you turn it over. I just started uploading pictures. People asked for it. Finally, somebody bought. And I was really excited. I will never forget I think he bought for like 58 and like that. People kept on, okay, do you have this? I'll just buy from the person, sell over and make something for myself. Until after a while, my husband gave me 120000 and said, okay, stock some weeds so you don't have to run all the time when they ask for it. After a while again, he was speaking up. I had my first child, Emily. 
and um, he said, okay, um, let me just set up a small store for you in the first pack. That was how the first pack um, store came about. And that store was, I don't know, it was a failure, so to say. Because after my rent was due, I couldn't even pay for the next year. Mm. So I packed up and then we moved into Lekki. When we came to Lekki, I convinced my husband again, okay, just one last time, just get me another store, stock it up, and um, this time I promise I'll make something out of it. He did the same thing, not anywhere on Admiralty Way. Mm. So that is why I tell people, it doesn't matter where your store is. Just do whatever you have to do, right? And people will look for you wherever you are. Mm, word, Even right? You... <laughs> word, <laughs> word. She better so, preach. So, um, that one too, nobody. In fact, for four months, you won't see anybody coming. Sometimes you sell one month and for the next three months, four months, you won't sell anything because the prices were, you know, then we didn't know, we didn't know how to really run a business. Some people think it's by... Okay, I buy this shoe for twenty thousand. I have to sell for forty thousand because I have to count my shop rent, the AC in my shop, the this and everything. Which leads me to my next question: What is that one secret you would tell people? You know what? To run a business in Nigeria or anywhere in the world, this is what you need to do to actually make the big bucks. Yeah, bring your prices down mm. and turnover works. That's what I'll tell everybody anytime, any day. Turnover works. If you're in business, I think you should master that. Mm. Turnover. Don't buy for four, don't buy for 20 and try to sell for 40. Because mm. you're going to sell one every month and you don't want that. Right. So buy for 20, try to sell for 25. And even inside the 25, if you're making 3,000, that's fine. Now, multi multiply 3,000 times how many people will be buying from mm. you. Nancy's, Nancy has the same shoe that I have. I'm selling for 25. She's selling for 30. Anybody will naturally just come for mine. And buy yours, right, you right, right. So, and Nigerians like, they like discounts. Mm. Everybody, I like it. discounts. So yes. I would not buy anything for 50,000 when somebody's selling it for 40. I'd rather just wait, pay 40 and wait and pick it up. Mm. 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 And everybody already knows hair is one thing that is really pricey in Nigeria. Once people have good hair, they feel, okay, I have a good hair. At least when I sell for 500,000, nobody will come to me and say, oh, my hair is shedding, my hair is tangling. So because of that, they want to keep the prices like up there. So I studied the market. I looked at everybody. I compared the prices. I said, okay, I'll bring down my prices. If I buy for 40, I'm going to sell for 45 or 48 just to be able to cover up shipping. And what? everybody... Wow. Wow. Well, guys, we've won another break. When we come back, Miss Wanika and I will be playing some games. You don't want to miss this. We'll be right back. It's gonna be a good time. Now see, see my show. Now see, see my show. Celebrities and all the fun stuff. Welcome back to the Nancy and See My Show. Is that time that I love and that you love, right? Yeah. And I'm sure that you at home watching loves as well. Our guest, Ms. Wanika, are you ready for this game? Hmm, I don't know what it is, but well, I'm ready. <laughs> what it's called is what is in the box. Okay. What happens is I get to open box after box, right? And you just dip your hand and tell me what is inside without looking. You're going to look straight ahead and just feel it and tell us what you feel. And we will tell okay. you if you're right. Are you ready? So can they see it? Of course they can, but you can't. All righty. Okay, I hope I don't find the snake. <laughs> Sand. Correct? Woo! That's box number one. Box number two. A pair of sneakers. <laughs> <laughs> Which we love, by the way. You yes, know, Anika, you know she's obsessed with sneakers. Last box. Okay, let me use this my right hand now. Right. So. <laughs> Wait, what? What is there? <laughs> Okay, I guess it's my Easter chicken. It's your chicken? <laughs> right, yes. Yes. Easter chicken. <laughs> we didn't get all 
all boxes correctly. And on that note, yes, you I did, did very well. Oh, yeah. Yes, and you also get a gift. We've decided, oh. I know you love chicken so much. Wanika hates frozen chicken. She likes to fry her chicken live. Oh I know. So it's we're giving you this chicken. So well. I know. So oh. we're giving you this chicken on behalf of the Nancy Sima Show. Oh Thank you. Well, it's so Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It's nightfall, and there's no forecast of rainfall, and I'm in the mood for a call. Thank you, DJX. It has been yet another fun show. I'm sure you weren't expecting me to give her live chicken, Abby. Yes. She loves to kill her chicken and eat them, right? Yes. So we might as well give it to her. It's her chicken. Yes. If you're watching at home, we hope you enjoyed today's episode. Don't forget to follow our social media handles. Until we see you again, don't forget to keep smiling, keep your head up high, stay positive because we. Yeah. Yeah.